Hi everyone, my name's Anne Marie. Welcome to this card making project. And in this project, we're going to make a gorgeous card using lots of Anna Griffin goodies, but we're going to use the All About Birds and Butterflies. And I just want to show you something about the kit because if you've never got anything like this before, then you might just wonder. The first thing is you get double sided foam pads in it get quite a lot and they will last you for while you're using this kit and it's a good idea to include these for the simple reason they will give a little bit of height to the item you know the items that you use on your projects so those are the first thing now the second thing is when you get your kit everything is in sheets like this and what you do to get the item that you need you simply pop it out of the sheet, push from behind and just give it a little bit of a push and it will pop out of the carrier sheet that it's on. Now some people are quite pedantic and they like to trim this little area where it was on the carrier sheet and just snip that away. I'm one of those people. Uh, I must admit, sometimes life's too short, but I do tend to, if I'm making the card for somebody else, I do tend to neaten the edges. So that's how you get your items out of the sheet. Now we're going to be using the sheet with the girl butterflies. Um, one of the sentiments from the kit as well. And one of the sentiments that we're using I just want to show you it in its original form because it's the kind of like the swallow tail on the end of it. You can see the shape where I pulled it out. But I've trimmed that. So I just want to point that out first so that you know um, when I mention it, that's where it's from. So I can pop these back in my carry folder, the cardboard folder that the, it comes in. We'll go for one at a time here because um, it's easier we'll do it at the back and then we can get on with our project well you know what I'm making a mess of that so we'll put that to one side and I'll tidy up later so our card project I'm starting off with a 7 by 5 inch card everything that I do use I shall put in a detailed description on my blog on my blog you can comment and you can ask me questions. I can get back to you on my blog or on Facebook, but I can't reply on YouTube. I know I sound like a broken record, but it's just one of those things. I need to keep telling you for new viewers because I love hearing from you and I don't want anybody to think I'm being rude by not replying on YouTube. I read them all, I click like on YouTube, but if you want a response, Facebook or my blog. So this is our card that we're going to use. It's a base card, 7 by 5 inches in size. It's perfect for our card making projects. And this is how it looks on my cardometer. Slightly smaller than the A5, which is of course the A4 folded in half. And I'll say of course, some people might not know. So the A6 is the A5 folded in half and we're in the middle, we're the 7 by 5 inch card. My cardometer I've designed to give you a perspective at home of the size of the card that we're using. So as always we're going to start with the inside. And I know so many of you, this is what you watched me for, the ideas for the inside. Which is fine, you know, as long as you watch I don't care. But if you like the ideas please share. Share with your crafty friends on any social media platform. So the first thing I've done is I've cut a base uh, layer out of ivory paper, which is it's slightly different to the ivory that we've used. And then I've cut an aperture in it of a square. I've also tapped the edge with a dark red. It's called Crimson. I think it's Crimson Red from Anna's Christmas ink range from last year from 2016 and I've just tapped it along the edge to give it a little bit of colour. We've got double sided tape on the back. 
Now the aperture that I've cut, it could be any size, it just so happens I've just used a basic square. So then we can add this to the centre of our card. Try and get it a little bit straight. So that's our first layer for our insert. Now where I've cut the square, I've taken one of Anna's lovely layers and I've cut the same size square in the lovely layer. And in actual fact, you'll see where I've taken the square from when we get to the front of the card. So that's the square and that's going to fit perfectly in the square that we cut in the ivory. And I know that because it was the same die that cut the base in the ivory as the red square. Then I've taken one of the gold butterflies on one of the sentiments and I've run them through my Xyron machine. Now Xyron's going to feature quite a lot in this, only for quickness and there's quite a lot of building of different shapes. You could use your normal glue, your glossy accents or your tape. I've just decided that I was going to use um, Xyron, just for quickness. So I'm going to add the butterfly through the centre and then I'm going to take the sentiment and I'm going to add that just above the butterfly. There we go. And that is our insert. There's enough room for you to from, little message. Obviously, like we've said before, if you're going to write an essay, you might want to put it on a separate sheet. But there's more than enough room for you to Chris, happy birthday, lots of love, Anne-Marie, that type of thing. So now we can turn our attention to the front. And I'm just going to bone fold the scar again. And I do that to make sure it's a nice sharp scar so when it stands up it looks professional and it's nice and neat. So the first layer for our card is our one of our one of Anna's lovely layers. I was trying to say one of our Anna's which very Yorkshire is that. So this is one of Anna's lovely layers. And I've, you can see where I've taken the square from because we're being economical with this and it's going to be covered by another layer. You're not going to miss this because the layer that goes onto it is a thick layer as well. So you're not going to get to delve and we're going to hide that with another layer and another layer and so on. So this is not going to be missed. And that was where the square came from for our centre, if that makes sense. So I can add this to the front of our card. And as odd as it looks, it won't look odd in a minute. And for any new viewers, it's we call it being economical. Uh, some people call it gutting, but I don't like that expression. So we call it being economical. Or being frugal. That's a great word, isn't it? Frugal. Frugal. <laughs> so that's our base layer for our card. So now you see the hole in it, and now you don't. So our next layer is from Anna's foil layers, metallic foil layers, and this was a 7x5 in the kit and I've just slightly trimmed it so that it will fit over our lovely layer and it gives the lovely layers edge. So next what we've done is I've taken some black cardstock and I've cut six squares and these measure two, I'm going to double check this because I think it's 2.2 by 2. It, it is. Sorry, I've just, I thought I'd got it wrong then for a minute. So these measure 2 inches by 2.2 inches. Only because we're working with um, a 7 by 5 inch card. And I'm going to add these to the front of our card. And I'm going to try and arrange them 
so that we've got an evenish gap between the squares with just a little bit of no Sram so Ray's done that wrong. She needs to do it the other way around. There we go. Classic mistake. Good job I'm using my Zyron and it's not taken hold straight away. So we do it that way. Landscape rather than portrait. There we go. That's perfect. So we add them. We'll rewind that little bit and uh, cut it out. So we add them with a little bit of gap around the edge so that you can see the foil layer behind it. And the little black squares just sit nicely on the card like so. Trying to get them kind of straight but it doesn't matter. It really, you know, if you're a little bit willy-wonky with them, it you know, doesn't matter. So, our next layer is taken from the lovely layers set again. And we've cut some red um, mats for our black next. And again, I've taken them through my Zyron machine just to make it easy for me. And I'm going to add them through the top of the black to create the matte and layer effect. And they're all flat, so we haven't got anything built up yet. And the last two to add. There we go. Last two. Get the right way around. Don't want no upside down roses. So the last one, there we go. Obviously at home, you're going to take more time and get all your squares straight and nice and even. And, and I'm not, so don't worry about that. So next, where we've looked at the butterflies from the kit, when we first looked, and we've taken the butterflies out and we've added some of the foam that was included on the back of them. And then what I'm going to do is I've used my bone folder just to pull the leaf round so that I've got a section in the middle that's going to sit flat on my card. And I'm just going to add a little bit of flat glue on that and where I've put the foam pads that will stop the butterfly's wings from going flat so they'll be slightly raised up but they will just have that little bit of shape in them now we're going to do this for all of our butterflies so it'll just take me a minute or two to do this and add them all so I've taken them all from that one sheet and they're all different sizes and different shapes like that and just add the last one to the bottom like that and then the last thing we've got is our sentiment. And if you remember, it had the swallow tail on one side. Well, I've just slightly trimmed that away because I wanted it to fit in this section. So don't be frightened. If you've got a sentiment that doesn't fit, you can trim it. Don't be frightened to try and change it or ink it or do something different to it they're your sentiments once you've bought them so if you need it for a project and you want to tint the edge with ink you do that or if you want to just slightly trim it you do that and that is our project finished and it's a quick and easy project 
and it just it looks so pretty it stands up nicely you've only got one layer of foam with the butterflies so you can see that's how tall they'll go they won't go any higher than that so they'll go in an envelope stands up nicely i don't know if i've just said that so it'll post well you might need a little bit of bubble wrap or something to protect your butterflies just with the you know with the wings sticking out you don't want anything to happen to them and that is just such an easy project that looks great and you could adapt it to use for a gentleman you could use the colored butterflies instead of the gold ones and it's just a fun project i've enjoyed you know enjoyed making that one well i enjoy making them all but i really like that one so i'd like to say thank you so much for watching if you've liked it please share please give me the thumbs up please tell your crafty friends i'm trying to sort of entice a few more viewers so your help would be much appreciated if you can't don't worry about it um feel free to comment and I'd just like to say thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.